Welcome back, Orleans, the more divine divinity. Yes, I know it's been a while. I was actually conked the fuck out for the better half of last month <coughs> with a throat, a uh, crazy throat infection. It wasn't bronchitis, it wasn't strep or anything. It was just, there's a lot of crazy pollen in the air here in Texas. And uh, somehow I caught some shit and uh, pretty much knocked my voice out for almost four weeks. Anyways, I have it back now. Obviously, I cannot be doing imp voices and ogre voices and little children and old men voices with no voice. So anyways, I'm back. I'm ready to play some Divinity, play some more Fallout 4, and entertain you, the subscriber. Also, last video we left off, Zaxxon and Drix here was being a prick and launching fireballs at my testicles. So... I shipped my save game off to, um, <coughs> excuse me, someone, I still got a little uh, residual cough going, but someone at uh, uh, Larian, and they sent me back the email file fixed. Uh, so, anyways, cool, let's play the fucking game. Truck, black truck, what you doing in that black truck's room? I'm here to persuade you to join the Council of Seven, Zachnadrix. You've been chosen to represent the Ips in the Council. You must come and help us fight the evil of the Black Ring. Zachnadrix on Council of Seven? <laughs> no, not Zachnadrix chose by Council Magic. Antics chosen one. Trex, root him! Who the hell is Antics? Yes, yes, root! Antics him you want. He is in here, Magic Place. Antics? Magic Place? What are you blathering about him? We saw you in the scrying stone. In here, in magic sphere, Antix is in here hiding. Flex, flex. Council spell not show me, it show me with the sphere, understand? Antix, if you want, he in the sphere of magic, zoom directs. I understand. How can I speak to Antix if he's the real council member of the imps? Touch the sphere, into rest, flex, flex. Here it goes. Still hard for me to do voices. Alright, anyways, we are here. In the sphere. Oh yeah, all about Robin Graves. Keeping it lug lug delicious. And a locked jug. Oh, it's locked. I don't have a key that fits this lock. I don't think you need one. Wow. Yeah, we're not getting in that joke. to deal with the wasp until recently because through that brutal and strong they are somewhat dim-witted. They've always managed to outwit them and defend our home. And things have changed? Yes, a new breed of mutated wasp has emerged with greater intellect. We now face a greater threat than ever before even as I speak there are mutated wasp within Archon's borders. And what is it you wish me to do? I ask that you help us defeat this wasp threat. We are not the invaders here. We are merely defending our home. The reason why I'm here is I'm looking for an imp named Antics. I've heard he's here somewhere in this universe. Universe? You mean Arkant, I guess? An imp, you say? A small two-legger who always talks in a funny way. I believe we are talking about the same guy. 
Where can I find the little shit? This funny talking creature came here some time ago. Asked to live in the stone hive at the other end of our garden. I have a key that opens the magical gates to his new home. I would give it to you if you're going to help us. Tell me about our account. It is a small world that we live in this wonderful garden where my beloved subjects can easily collect nectar. You should see the garden in spring, and it's in full bloom, with all the flowers blossoming in the air is rich with fragrance. Mm. I'll consider your proposal. Now that you were speaking to Lysandra, the Queen Bee, maybe you would reconsider helping the bees. And who might you be? I am Ragon, the mighty Archmage. Forgive me, but you look more like a wasp than a powerful Archmage. Alas, you are correct. I transformed myself into this form, but am unable to reverse the process. It is most annoying. Ah, how clever of you. Watch your tongue, or you shall feel my steam. Why are you helping the wasp? Kunt and Tetel, the queen of wasps, has promised to restore me back to my natural form, if I would help her. So your help is not freely given? Oh, I will help willingly. After all, the wasp have as much right to this garden than the bees. Why is it that the bees and the wasp cannot live together? In our account, in peace! Kunt and Tetel would never agree to that. No, the bees must leave this place or die. Why should I consider my position with the Bee Queen? The wasp has as much right to be here as the bees. So? The wasp are in great need of a place to breathe to expand their hive. But the bees have been here a long time. Irrelevant. Besides, the wasp are a stronger race, so they should rule here. I might help you, Ragon, but Lysandra has a key I'm in need of. My mission would fail if I don't get it. A key? You mean the key to the house at the other end of the garden? The house where the little imp is hiding. And the Sandra told you she has the key. I assure you, this bitch was lying to you. The truth is I am in possession of it. And I'll give you the key if you help me with the wasp. Maybe you tell me the truth. But even if I'm missing the key in the end, I have to support the bees. Their cause is just, and you're a shithead. Interesting decision. You jeopardize your mission because of your these unimportant bees. You won't be able to fulfill your task, but at least you saved them. Indeed, an interesting choice. Better get out of here before I chop your little green apple asshole in half. Like some fucking starburst to eat you. off my nuts! Drop something, I'm carrying too much. I'll have to drop something, I'm carrying too much. I'll 
I'll have to drop something. I'm carrying too much. I don't have a choice. I'll have to drop something. I'm carrying too much. Oh, you didn't fix it. That's not good. I want to make a different save for this, because if you accidentally kill too many bees, you kind of fuck yourself. skills later I gotta reevaluate my situation after being gone for over a month. You agreed to aid us human but almost no wafts fell by your hand. Quite disappointed. Take this key to the big stone hive behind me. Please leave my realm soon. Maybe we talk to her too quickly. I think we have to kill all the wasps before we Uh, I don't know about almost no wasps fell by my hand. I'm pretty sure I killed like a fucking hundred of them. But thanks, bitch. sweet. So... But now the bees are victorious. The wasp are in ruin. As am I. For now the wasp queen will surely never transform me back to my original form. Okay, so this is Ragnar, the bad guy. Bad. You have done it, human. You have defeated my mutation, Ragnar, and the evil wasp. My race and I are most grateful to you. I can look forward to some more peaceful life. The wasp will need quite some time to recover from the wasps. It was a just cause! I'm glad I could help! Yes! For your help, I offer you this skill as a reward, so you can take control over every summoned creature. Take this key, it opens the magical gates to the big stone hive behind me. Know that you shall be forever welcome in the Garden of Arakhand. you to join the Council of Seven according to Zagnandrix. You are the chosen imp, not him! Dreadflix and Dix 
show. Antex know you would come. Antex been hiding here, waiting. Antex, hiding? Why? Evil, evil people. Called Black Ring they are. Antex was a member. Trucks, trucks. Now they want Antex dead. The Black Ring used to be one of them. You've been in foul company, Imp. Flex, Antex know. Antex know now. Black Ring and Antex are hatekin now. How Antex go to council? Just say the following word, and you will be teleported there immediately. Drex, Drex, here, take this crystal ball. Use it to leave this magical place. Zig, Zax, Flax. Anx, go to council. <coughs> Very easy. Done with that. It's some daytime in our lives, so I can see. All right, let's check these skills out. Always evading arrows even more. Evading missile weapons. Or we can add more spiritual damage. We have R of command now. Control the will of summoned creatures to do your bidding. Not that we really need that, but... This gives us three. I'm gonna have to think about that. We can really pump something up here. Let's return to the Council of Seven. It's been a while, I can't quite remember. There's only one or two more to do. Not like it's lost. Been too long, game order. Don't ever get sick again. Subscribers be mad at you. Oh, you fucking pussy. big thing in the distance is. That would be Luglug's dick! A representative for the Council of Dwarves is in Glenboros. Go there, my friend, and convince him to join the Council of Seven. Where's Glenboros? Small dwarven enclaves east of Stormfist Castle. Like a typical dwarf community, it was built on the ground, not underground. It dates from the time when the first tentative trade links between the dwarves and the humans many hundreds of years ago. At that time, an alliance was forged between the two races, which still holds firm. We should receive a cordial welcome. On it! We have my crazy stash here. To sell or not to sell? That is the question. I'll have to drop something. I'm carrying too much. 
You're bitching too much. Identify these dragon gloves if I can find them. Gloves of the dragon. Two strength, two agility, two constitution, two defense, 40 vitality, 60 magic, poison and spirit resistance, plus one to hearing. Wow, I might need those. I'm getting old. <clears throat> and a two charm quality. You know, I want those magic potions. Works for me. I'll have to drop something. I'm carrying too much. Shit. Fucking lug lug. This thing is carrying too much. <clears throat> I can't use that. life anyways. <clears throat> Lightning, night with better spirit resistance. Oh, no, they're both pretty similar. Plus one to the freeze, yeah. Make the game easier. That's kind of useless. Plus four constitution. Not a big. You should be able to replace that ring pretty damn easily. <clears throat> I would say this is better. Just because of the. Actually takes away some fire resistance. All right. 
right to the Dwarven Town. All the time. Greetings! I am Elias Thunderstorm, Dwarven Ambassador to the Six Races. You come in at a very inopportune time if you wish to sample our famous Dwarven hospitality, human. The Axe of Stone has been stolen. Today I have to write a letter to King Kelp Duntrim to tell him of our great laws. I want you to join the Council of Seven. I ask no surprise, Sandalor wrote a letter to help Kelp Duntrim, our king, telling him that you would come to ask us dwarves for help. But as long as we have not retrieved the Axe of Stone, I cannot join your cause. I will see it recovered ere I cannot go wandering with humans. I'd like to know more about this Axe of Stone. The Axe of Stone was used in combat by the god Duna. After Duna left this world, she gave the weapon into our care. It's a catastrophe that the Elves have stolen this magnificent weapon. The elves are responsible for the theft of the Axe of Stone? Aye. Don Trixie Elves must have sneaked up to the commemorative cliff, where the Axe of Stone rested and had away with it in the night. We caught an elf near the scene of the crime. He hasn't confessed yet, but he will when Gregor sets his torture on him. Can I investigate the crime myself? I wish this terrible matter to be solved as much as any dwarf. <laughs> There's no need to investigate anything human. The bloody elves were responsible for the theft and will make them suffer for it. End of saga. I don't believe the elf stole your artifact. Let me prove that you're wrong. Why waste your time when matters are crystal clear? Well, if you have nothing better to do, go talk to the mayor and the elf. You will mark the mayor's house on your map. The elf is locked in the cellar until such time as we take him to our king for final judgment. Who is Gregor? Gregor Dunatrim is the king's brother and mayor of this dwarven settlement. Tell me more about your king. Calp Dunatrim is our leader. Sides in the halls of Karanamics, but flows wondrous rivers of gold. River of gold? Huh? Deep within the mountains to the west, my brother Dwarf lived in the vast underground system of caverns. Now oh, that's a natural way to live, underground with stone roof over your head, under these elders trees and skies and shit. The shining river of gold and jewels runs through the halls of Karanamics. From end to end, it's a sight. How can I be granted audience with your king? King Dingley. My people live in the great halls beneath the dwarven mountains. Our long-time allies, the humans, are always welcome to enter the underground city. They're often granted an audience with the Kelp Dunatru, our king. How do I get to the dwarven halls? You have to pass through the dark forest and follow the road leading west. Give me your map. You've already been there, you dipshit. Look! Ah, dark forest? Oh my god, I'll speak with you again later. You're killing me. You're killing me, London. Greetings, human. Well, I'm Gregor Duntrim, mayor of Glenboros. What can I do for you? <coughs> Just how much ale have you had today, Gregor? My head's fair swimming after mere seconds in your presence. Hi, did you say? Yeah, damn fool, human. Two jaws, don't put that slap to the lips. Brr. Me! We drink speed, you bastard idiot. Can you not tell the difference? Me, that's good for the muffle. Makes you stout and powerful, it does, yeah. Why doesn't you go bring 
miss them and we'll share a few tales of battle and drinking. Drinking and drinking and some battle with some more drinking and fucking lots of more drinking tales. Fucking, yeah, what do you say? I'll do my best to fetch the mighty mayor of Glenborough some mead. Yeah, that's, that's right. You can always buy real good mead in the taverns and one of the locals nearby has a fine batch of barrels. Nearly as good as the shit my brother and the king drinks. Tell me more of your position as mayor in Glenboris. Well, as, as uh, the mayor, I've got lots of responsibilities which I take very seriously. I'll do everything in my power to uncover that goddamn elven fuckhole of a thief who stole a precious axe of stone. I will. Tell me more about the village. This hair village is called Glenbrook, which means fellowship in the common tongue. My brother, <laughs> King Kaldur, saw fit to appoint me as the governing power. And my lousy fucking drunk. Can you tell me more about the theft of the Axe of Stone? Those tree-brained elves stole it, I'm telling you. We're lucky to even catch ourselves. One of them. I wish he stayed in the forest after I'm done chopping off his little elven testicles. So why do you think the elves are responsible for stealing the axe? They rocked up the demon elf we caught in one of our community houses. Cellars. And houses. <coughs> can I pay a visit to the community house? Of course you can. Just go south a ways. To the first house on the left. I should go over there myself, but I'm about to take a five hour piss. It's getting very late. I must go. Piggy, piggy. Community house. now, son. Find this brewery too. Eh, hey, have you returned old Rimmer with a mind to try some of his fine dwarven style ale? I would like a bottle. Let me five gold bits. I only sell large bottles, you know. Very well, deal. Dwarven friend, I brought you some meat from the local tavern. Sure, if you go with me here in <laughs> Ah, there you are, matey. That'd be mighty fun stuff you brought here. You know something? Those damn elves in the woods will cause plenty of problems for us. <laughs> what makes you think we'll have troubles with the elves? Arrogant, high, and mighty minded, devious. Sons of bitches they are. <coughs> now, if I were to a king, I'd brr, march an army against them. My new friends, help me when it comes to that time. See if they don't. Your friends? Who are these good friends of yours? 
Shit, yeah, idiot. It's the boss's secret. They got great plan to be they do be be a mayor and all. My smart they be too. We'll kill all them goddamn elves soon enough. I thought we were friends, Gregor. I brought you all this mead. Only friends share meat, surely. Tell me about these fine friends of yours. Lead it close and I'll tell you, but keep your voice down. They live in a secret cave in the halls of Kandamax. Thick place is well guarded by a stone sentry. Fishy spuggery is. Need a password to get past them, you do? But your friends sound like a fine bunch. I'd really like to pay them a visit and give them your greetings. The password? You mean pa the password? It's a uh, dear. It's prophecy. Yes, yes, that's it. Prophecy. Yeah, you have to tell it to the stone sentry and the halls of Kandamix, you know. Ah, it's getting very late. I must go. All right, folks, that wraps it up for this episode of Divine Divinity. It's good to be back. It feels great to be back. And I shall see you soon with more Divinity, but yes, we have to knock out some Fallout first. See you soon.